Throughout the years of Yu-Gi-Oh, there has always been an established meta. And that meta goes on to influence what people typically play at the larger events. But what if you took a list of every deck from the September 2011 meta, randomized them, and put them into their own single elimination bracket tournament, allowing for exactly one of every different type of deck to be represented? In this series, Joe and I will be playing out a full single elimination bracket tournament. Each week, Joe and I will be playing a different deck, and whatever deck wins will move on, and whatever deck loses will be eliminated. The goal of this series is to see if the traditional meta will reign supreme, or if a new champion will be crowned. Be prepared for jank winning, meta losing, and for the format as we know it to be turned upside down. Welcome to the Tournament of Tournaments. All right, today in the finals, I'll be playing Hero Beat, the same Hero Beat deck that I've been playing basically every single time it's been within the bracket. I think I've played it every single match, now all the way up to the finals. Obviously, it's a deck when this tournament first started that I was rooting for. It's your classic Hero Beat deck. It has the Skill Drain package, the Gemini package with the additional Gemini with Crusader. Obviously, Barbaros to go with the Skill Drain. It has a little bit of versatility in the side deck. Uh, there's definitely some interactions in this particular matchup against Infernities that's really important. The fact that this deck has Dark Bribe can actually sometimes catch Infernities off guard because if they weren't compensating in their calculations for card in hand out of nowhere, sometimes you can hit let's say launcher and put a card in their hand or bury and put a card in their hand and obviously all the infernities need to have no hand in order to function so there's some interacts interesting interactions there between dark bribe and this particular strategy but obviously it's it's really scary i have the maxis in the side deck but the potential for the randomizer strategy makes it so that maxi is a bit of a liability and even if you side maxi in if the infernity player knows that there's no other hand traps they can just go for game regardless of how many cards you draw so maxi is fine but not necessarily the most impactful hand trap the cards a little bit better against decks like windups whose main combo is trying to rip cards out of your hand and obviously maxi does a good job alleviating that risk but nevertheless we'll see what happens obviously i've been partial to heroes this entire tournament and we'll see if i can take it down all right today i'm gonna be playing infernities in the grand finals of tournament of tournaments it's honestly insane this deck made it as far as it has shout out to hydro pump because this is his list um this is a really clever way to approach the deck you basically play full combo in game one going as like far as possible out of consistency with the likes of duality and upstart in the main just trying to hit your combo and then basically find your set up your grave turn one and then combo off turn two and hopefully win the game um and then it transitions into a randomizer control which slows the game down significantly and when your opponent sides in the maxis and all the anti-combo stuff like dd crow the randomizer control doesn't really care about that i'm just gonna plus one and have a bunch of back row so um yeah it's pretty cool deck the only issue is uh heroes uh, they, they got this stuff to deal with it i think you know we get we got things like uh thunder king and skill drain in joe's deck that's gonna be a bit of a challenge but i'm gonna try my best and hopefully do this deck justice i mean hey at the end of the day we in the finals baby we, we gotta knock that hero deck out and that that's my goal All right, Tournament of Tournaments, final episode, grand finals of the entire tournament. I can't believe we're finally here. You know, this has been a long awaited. I've had a lot of comments talking about how they're looking forward to seeing the outcome of this match. Um, and I'll be honest, like, your hero list, Joe, feels like the Jack Sparrow of this series, where, like, you almost catch it, you know? Like, I feel like I've had so many games where I just barely could, like, I beat it one game and then it just clutches out game three. And I'm hoping that I can put an end to its reign of terror and it doesn't just win out, but there's a pretty good chance it just wins out. <laughs> we'll see. This is, you know, this deck and I... Have a history. We'll see how things go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, luckily I do get to go first. So with Infernity, I could maybe do some combos. Did you take paper? I I took paper. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All 
Let's just get the 1% hand where I see a turn 1 combo and we'll be happy. Ooh. <laughs> huh. I don't think this is that hand. <laughs> Oh, this feels kind of bad. I think that's the best play I could actually make right here. Stand by. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Boom. Those are all pretty good cards. Yeah, in different ways, they're all pretty good. I think I'm gonna get this. All right. Draw. <laughs> All right, honestly, <laughs> do what you want. <laughs> kind of shocked that I could ever dash at you going second. Yeah, well, sometimes you open all the monsters in your deck and uh, literally no playable cards. I'll put... The reality is, this one will always get the other, you know? <laughs> but I think the Avenger is correct, I think. No, I think, like, I think Mirage is better because it's a better top deck, because if you don't one for one, and like the game goes longer. That's uh, tough. No, I, I, I guess I'll do Avenger. I'll do Avenger. Fair enough. Well, gonna set one and set two and pass back to you. <laughs> I guess I have to do this and pray there's no hero blast. Is there a hero blast? There's no hero blast. Big. <laughs> oh, did not mean to do that. Yo. <clears throat> sure. Good? Yep. I have a D prison. Nice. Okay. So you have a Ven uh, Mirage and one for one? Yeah. <laughs> this is really close to just going off, you know? A little bit. <laughs> Oh. Draw. Stand by main phase. I think I activate one for one. Good. It's a cost. Yeah. So you drew Archfiend. Okay, let me think. So you have Mirage in hand? Yep. 
Uh, that's fine. Okay. Now I have to think. I know you have a spark. And an unknown. I think it has to be... Avenger. So I can do stuff. And then I will normal summon it and declare priority. Oh, that's the sad one. Yeah, alright. <sighs> Avenger is not the one that does anything. The only one it's in the graveyard and another guy dies. Yeah. Yeah, it has right. to be a different guy. Yeah, okay. Right, none of these are really all that good. Okay. Attack and then attack for 19. Yep. Go. Well, the card. Get a force out the thing, <clears throat> yeah. I have another alias. Uh, wait, is, those guys aren't legal yet. Okay, never mind. I did draw some judgment, though, so you're not going to beat that dead judgment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's gay. <laughs> Jesus! I, so, the hair was so bad, I had to, like, I had to set everything... Yeah, I, I had to set everything, because it was like, it's like, if you have heavy, I'm just turbo screwed, but it's like the only way I get to play the game is if I set this. I only, I, I would only heavy like two back rows. If you set more than that, I'd be more afraid of road, but if you set two back rows, I know you don't have road. Yeah, I mean, I guess in hindsight, I could have set the, the one for one. Because I had, again, I had scary. warning, so if you set like four back rows, I'd be more likely to just set warning and try to heavy warning you. Yeah. With only two back rows, it's way less likely that you're that you have road, because that means you have road plus only one real trap card, and then you had four monsters, which would be really unlikely. So if you had road, you would have just set a bunch more back rows. So yeah. because you only set two, heavy was way easier to do. Well, and the other issue was is I could I had to gamble your warning, because it's if it's not warning, I can resolve mirage. I could have one for one for mirage, and then you like summon both, but yeah, it's like. So I don't have a tuner, so my board actually does nothing if I do that. I could search, but I can't even search break to out your alias. If you <laughs> if you normaled early, I would have Gemini sparked it, and then mm. your one for one would have went into Mirage and I would have warning that effect. So the fact that you mm. always needed a card in hand meant that you couldn't turn player priority mirage on the field and then follow yeah. it up with a one for one into another mirage. Because all I had two responses, yeah. like a Gemini Spark and a Warning. But because you always had to keep a card in hand, it didn't matter. I could always preemptively hit one before you got to turn player priority. Yeah, either way, it was doomed. It was so messed up. We'll see if I can do something game two. <laughs>
warning. Okay. Sure. Draw. Mm. Interesting. Offerings to the Doom, the Thunder King. Okay. I'm going to take a 50 50 on a space. Mm -hmm. That would be this one. Okay. That's unlucky. A special summon back your Thunder King. Oh, uh, thinking. Okay, that's good. <coughs> All right. I'll attack. A accepts. And I'll uh, set another card and pass. Summon is fine. Yeah. It's good. Thunder King? Sure. <coughs> All mirror force. <laughs> All right. Draw. Go. Take the 19. End phase, I'm going to reinforce truth. Okay. <coughs> Drop. Mm. Thinking, 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 thinking. All special summon. Um, sure. Effect. Yeah. So. Okay. That's not good. I accept that one. <coughs> I will... Link summon. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I gain... Or I have to take damage, right? Take 500 damage? Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. Alright. Um, I'll just switch this to defense. I accept. Set a mystery card and pass. Oh my god, yeah. Interesting. Uh, normal summon. Like to go to defense. Uh, I... do, 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 thinking. Okay. See a pot of duality on a card I don't know set. Mm hmm How would you summon that? Why not just set it? Uh... Probably that or that. It makes a lot of sense to do this. 
put my pressure, I guess. Right, a barrier. Okay, sure. That was an inevitability. Yep. Yeah. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Draw. Stay my main. Set a card. And activate the effect. <laughs> yep. Go. <laughs> And uh, here I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay. Um, set one. Pass. Summon is successful. Go. End phase. Um, is that good? Yeah, I accept. Switch or standby main. Yeah. Set one. Effective necromancer. Yeah. Go ahead. Space that fresh set. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> what, what a terribly unplayable set of games for me, man. I mean, I knew this matchup was going to be like really hard, but all three Thunder Kings. <laughs> Bro. Like, like, and then I just drew on to duality plus Rona, and I was like, okay. And, like, after I banished well, so my... did I. I drew into duality and Rona after, too. Only fair. Uh, and two Cyber no, it... Let's be real. These four cards on the left are the four cards I drew into, sort of with Thunder King on the field. Not too good. But... See, good but enough. the difference is, is you have Thunder King on the field. <laughs> yeah. That was, a uh, that was painful. Holy... But hey, you did it, Joe. You took Heroes to be the Tournament of Tournaments champion for the first ever iteration of it, you know. And uh, hey, th this was the, this this was the run. This was the run you always wanted, you know. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Although that match felt awful for me, so you know, I'm sorry, Hydro Pump. I couldn't take your Inferni list any further than this, but uh. Yeah, once I had to break, banish my randomizer, it just felt turbo-doomed, because I needed that randomizer pretty bad. I was not drawn out of this anytime soon, either. I didn't side in the max Cs, because I, I thought you'd go into the strategy. Yeah, well, I think this is, like, the best way to approach this matchup, because, like, realistically, there's no way I'm actually ever going to combo off against this deck. You're on Skill Drain, you're on Thunder King. I sided out the like Skill possible. Drain. 
Really? That card's like really OP versus me. But I was like, I mean, it is. This... But you're signing in MSTs, so I signed out. I cited them all out because yeah. of the MSTs and even the breaks to an extent, even though there's only one. I mean, I yeah. guess I could have kept it in, but with the three MSTs, I just wanted to to blank everything that you had. Yeah, like I cited my own I... MSTs in. I put in King yeah. Tiger, which is wild against you. <laughs> True, King Tiger is scary. I didn't want a hard like side in to just pure randomizer control. I left a bit of the combo stuff in because, um, just some of the side cards in there just aren't that good versus you. So it's like it was fine to keep in, but yeah, I just got put in such an awkward position playing through three Thunder Kings. <laughs> yeah, Thunder King did work. <laughs> so uh yeah that that, that tournament service guys that was not a very climactic ending you know it's pretty pretty one-sided i do <laughs> like that, I, that's OP. the one randomizer effect you resolved was pot of duality i know <laughs> <laughs> it was brutal i i mean if you watch my pov of this game like it, i just i did not have many options for a lot of these turns it was pretty rough <laughs> So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode and for Tournament of Tournaments. Let me know what you guys thought of this series. And if you'd like to see a Season 2, you know, I'm kind of thinking about it. So let me know what you guys think about that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through this whole series. And shout out to Joe for participating in it for this whole season as well. It's been over a year of a series, which is kind of crazy. But uh, we'll just give a quick shout out to my Patreon. So... Shout out to Grant Johnson, B Styes, Agent and Pant Tier Zero, My Dude, Photo Shooty, Brian Ford, and Sven Albrand. Thank you guys so much for the support. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and have a great time doing today.